my name is Joe Benford and this is my Full Sail Turning Point video. If I had to become anyone within my field of, um, which is creative writing, I would have to say that I would want to be a professional screenwriter. Uh, ultimately, one, two of my goals are to have um, either a series or original movie on Netflix and to either be nominated or have won an Oscar. Over the next three weeks, my two goals are to define what success really means to me and then the other one is to see how I can apply these strategies that Green mentions into the MFA program as I go along my journey. So now we'll go ahead and talk about the concept that Green goes over that are essential to finding our life's task. I would like the quote where Green says that the master's inclinations often presents itself to them with remarkable clarity in childhood. So basically he was just saying that when we are children, we are more susceptible to listening to our inner calling or our inner voice. And we're more confident, we're more receptive, and somehow unapologetic to the things that we are attracted to. And going back to our early inclinations can help us to regain what we lost. He basically says that we need to find a niche within our company or within our major, or within our field that we're in, um, so we can dominate it. And so the way that I register this is that when we are in competition with a lot of people who are going the same route, we want to take the narrow path or the path less traveled um, and go ahead and try to find a niche where we're really good at this thing and then stick with it. So for the third strategy or the third concept, Green says that a path, a false path in life is generally something we are attracted to for the wrong reasons. And what I take from that is that we have to recognize why we are attracted to our career or attracted to our field. And if it's for the reason that it gives um, monetary gratification or it gives you more attention or you're doing it for others, like your parents or your friends, you're going down the wrong path. For concept four, the idea is that you want to embrace change when it comes your way. What happens is, is that when we are in a place where we are continuing and we're doing things and we may not like it or it may become boring, we might want to open ourselves up to change. And that change is not necessarily a bad thing in which you would have to abandon everything that you thought you knew in the past or things that you needed or things that you were doing in the past, but you also want to bring those skill sets and bring that knowledge with you for the future project that you have in mind. So finally, concept five. When children get lost in stores, it is said that they go back to the place where their parents were, where they lost them. And so that's what you want to do with your passions, according to concept five. If you go a different path away from what you are meant to do and you stray away from what your life's task, task is, you will find yourself lost like the child. And you will have to go back to your parent, which is the initial start of your passion and to figure that out. Um, where you are and so inevitably what Green was saying is that if you try to abandon your life's task it doesn't end well. So actually attending Full Sail and being in the MFA program for creative writing is my um, concept three. It's my rebellion against all the different voices that used to say hey you know you're probably not going to get far with creative writing. You're probably not going to make enough money with creative writing. You're probably going to be a teacher with creative writing. Not that that's a bad thing, but that's what people would convey to me. That these three things are, they were basically putting me in a box. And so I said to myself, you know, you know there's so much more that you can do um, with a creative writing degree. And just being a writer in general. And so thankfully I didn't listen to them. 